It was almost 250 years ago that Britain's Captain Cook landed here in what is now Sydney's Botany Bay. His crew was met by Aboriginal people who defended their land with spears and shields. Rodney Kelly is a descendant of one of those the British fired upon and ultimately conquered. Cook fired muskets at him and one of those shots hit my ancestor's shield and put a hole straight through it. After the confrontation, depicted in this 19th century drawing, dozens of artefacts ended up in collections across Europe. Kelly wants them back, and he's travelling to Europe to claim them. The so-called Gwigul shield, with its bullet hole, is in the British Museum in London. It sits alongside thousands of other objects taken by British explorers from around the world. In a Cambridge museum too, Kelly has to view his ancestors' artefacts through display glass. Yeah, it makes me feel sad because these artefacts, you know, connect me to my ancestors and they represent, you know, our struggle and our resistance. In Cambridge, Kelly feels his concerns are taken seriously, but he gets no commitment to return any artefacts. The spheres are of special and almost unequalled importance because we know exactly where they were obtained, the circumstances under which they were obtained, and we know that that, that encounter inaugurated an enormously troubled and difficult history between Britain and Indigenous Australia. Staff at the British Museum have said they'll keep talking too but they also argue that by holding on to the shield, millions of visitors can learn about Aboriginal Australia. We've lost so much since the British came. We've lost our language, most of our culture, so hopefully they can understand how much these artefacts mean to me and my people and, you know, return them. In Sydney's Botany Bay, there's a memorial to Captain Cook's landing, but nothing here records what was taken. For descendants of the first Aboriginal people to encounter British colonialists, the return of stolen objects would be symbolic. Recognition that their ancestors were robbed, not just of those objects, but of their land and culture too. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Sydney.